Around the world, 90% of adults ingest a molecule that increases alertness and concentration, while also being the source of an insomnia pandemic. This molecule is none other than caffeine, the world's mental support. What is this molecule, and what are the potential health effects surrounding it? Welcome to the ninth episode of Season 1 of Lively Live Life, a podcast by the Information Institute that explains the science behind everyday phenomena. Today's episode is 90% of Adults Ingest Poison. Caffeine, scientifically known as 137-trimethylxanthine, is a bitter white powder found in coffee, tea, sodas, and chocolate. It is naturally produced in plants such as coffee, cocoa, and guarana plants. Originally, caffeine was produced as a neurotoxin in plants that protected it from competitors and insects that feasted on them. Insects that chewed on leaves containing caffeine were repelled by the potent bitter taste, thrust into a confusing daze, or died. Furthermore, if caffeine entered the soil, it slowed down the growth of other plants while also preventing the growth of new plants. However, caffeine was not just a natural pesticide, it was also an effective pollination strategy. By caffeinating nectar to a non-lethal extent, the plant could induce a psychological change in the insect, allowing the insect to feel rewarded. This hungoverness made the insect addicted to the caffeinated nectar and return to pollinate the plant more often. This strategy proved to be successful. Honeybees rewarded with caffeine when pollinating were three times more likely to remember the plant and come back to pollinate it again than plants that merely had sucrose in their nectar. Caffeine activates this reward sensation by binding to adenosine receptors, preventing sleep-inducing chemicals called adenosine from binding to them. We have already explained how sleepiness is caused in a previous video called The Value of Sleep. Humans are not an exception to the euphoria-like effects of caffeine. The average adult in the United States drinks 135 milligrams of caffeine a day, or the amount of caffeine found in one and a half cups of coffee. Every year, humanity ships around 9 billion kilograms of coffee and 7 billion kilograms of tea, not to mention the countless other drinks and desserts that contain caffeine in them. So, what are the benefits of consuming caffeine? Moderate levels of caffeine have been shown to increase focus and concentration while reducing drowsiness. Caffeine also stimulates the heart to increase blood flow and blood pressure temporarily, particularly in people who do not consume caffeine regularly. Some studies even show that caffeine reduces the risk of certain forms of cancer. However, none of this can erase the fact that caffeine was originally intended as a neurotoxin, Is humanity slowly poisoning itself? Researchers have currently set the upper bound for daily caffeine intake to 400 milligrams for healthy adults, or about 4 cups of coffee, or 10 cans of soda. Since the average person drinks far less than the upper bound, poisoning from caffeine is likely irrelevant. However, doctors advise people to cut down on caffeine intake if unpleasant symptoms occur. What about health problems? Surely artificially stimulating the heart is unhealthy in the long run. As of now, scientists have not discovered strong negative effects of caffeine on the heart, even in people with hypertension. The most concerning aspect of caffeine is its correlation with insomnia. Researchers have discovered that drinking coffee even six hours before bedtime disrupts sleep by more than one hour. In other words, caffeine intake should be minimized or even completely restricted by 5 in the afternoon. In summation, caffeine, a compound originally intended as a potent poison, is now one of the most used molecules in the world, responsible for a new era of concentration in an increasingly sedentary world. Its intake, however, must be carefully controlled to make sure that you do not become subject to its toxicity.